Okay, here's how to fix that problem with the uh, Xbox 360 gaming controller receiver on Windows Vista and 7. And sometimes the problem also happens with XP. Um, mo most of the time, the problem is 64 bit, but it could also be on 32 bit. Okay, the problem is that whenever you uh, you plug in your receiver and you can't you can't connect your controller to it because it'll it, it doesn't recognize the driver. It's, it always says unknown device. Uh, here it is. You go to device manager, and here's here's my receiver. It's not found. So what you have to do is right click it, press uninstall. Okay, there it's uninstalled now. Now you have to just unplug it. Okay, after you unplug it, you're gonna need to download the driver software. So if your if your thing came with a disc, it's complete trash unless you recently bought it. Like mine is old; it's an old version, 1.1. It's a it's a pile of shit. Doesn't work with 64-bit. <laughs> it's not gonna help you. So what you what you have to do is open up your browser. Okay, next, I'm gonna provide all the links in the description. You go to the Microsoft driver link. Okay, you go to software for Microsoft game controllers. Okay, now you select your product, controller, wireless, operating system. I have Vista 64 bit, English, and you go. And then there it is, there's 1.2. Click that link, save the file. Okay, now that that's done, close that, close your browser, open up your downloads, there it is. Okay, now you have to install it. Okay, this should take like a minute or so. Now that it's installed, you can click finish. Okay, once you click finish, uh, you're going to want to plug it back in your receiver. So, I'm going to plug it in. You can put it in any USB port you want, it doesn't matter which one. Okay. It should say found new hardware. Okay, it should say find new found new hardware. But if you look at install driver, it won't find anything. If you press uh yeah, just press ask me again later. Now if you go back to device manager It should still say unknown, but but now you right click that, press update driver software, then you click browse my computer for driver software, soft driver software, then then you click on let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Okay, now you have to find right here, Microsoft Common Controller for Windows class. Then you click next. You click Xbox 360 controllers for controller for Windows version 2.1.0. You click next. Then you click yes, and it's installing. And now it's installed. Let's just say this. Close that, and there you go. And now your controller should connect to it. You have to press the connect button on the top of the controller, and press the connect button on the receiver at the same time and it should connect now and it should work perfectly